and hello YouTube, this is GS Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new YouTube tutorial for all of my viewers and if you are just browsing around and happen to find this video, I have plenty of other tutorials you may look on my channel. But today's tutorial we'll be discussing how to find some of the, some of the most common and popular measures of central tendencies that deal with statistics and um, basically just telling you how to find them easily on Excel. Now I'm sure many of you know how to do this by hand or by calculator but let's be realistic when you have 20 or 30 values who wants to actually sit there and do everything by hand or type everything in a calculator so this is gonna teach you how to do it very quickly very easily just with a few clicks and you should have everything you need now these are all the measures of central tendency that relate to statistics but these are the most common ones mean median mode some standard deviation first quartile third quartile maximum minimum, and range uh, these are some of the most common and most popular ones. I will be making a video um, later this week on a chi-squared test, how to do this in Excel. So if you want to do statistical analysis, uh, keep in touch with my channel and you'll see how to do a chi-squared test. But enough of that, let's get to the tutorial already. Um, first of all, you have a set of data, obviously. So have your set of data in one column. And I have this labeled. You don't need to have it labeled if you don't want to have it labeled, but I want to have it labeled to keep myself organized. You click an empty cell, and you will click up to your formula bar. Now your formula bar is basically going to tell Excel what to do. So in formula bar, you're going to type in equal sign, and then you're going to type in average. Now Excel recognizes mean as average, so you have to type in average. You can't type in mean. I don't think you can even because if you type in mean, it doesn't work. So just remember average for mean. And you start your parentheses and then you select your data just click the first cell and drag down to the last cell and then end parentheses click enter there is your mean you do the same thing with median mode sum standard deviation first quartile third quartile maximum and range so let's go ahead and do that go back up to your formula bar equal sign median start parentheses you're going to select your data End parentheses, enter, there's your median. Now for mode, equal sign, mode, start parentheses, going to highlight, end parentheses, enter, 22. Now for sum, equal sign, sum, start parentheses, and highlight, end parentheses. There's your sum. Standard deviation, equal sign, and I believe this would be STD EVA. So remember, standard deviation is STD EVA. Start parentheses, highlight your data, end parentheses, standard deviation. Now, for your first quartile, it's a little different. All you have to do is you have to type in equal sign, you type in quartile, you start your parentheses, and then you have to highlight your data, and then you have to type in comma, and then type in one. Now the reason why you're typing in one is because it's your first quartile. They need to know what quartile you're looking at. Third quartile, first quartile, which quartile you're looking at. Now since we're looking at first quartile here, you type in quartile, uh, you highlight your cells, your data, and then comma, one, end parentheses, enter, there's your first quartile. For third quartile, it's the same thing. Equal sign, quartile, start parentheses, highlight your data, comma, type in three, because we're looking for the third quartile, end parentheses, enter, there's your third quartile. Now for maximum, same thing, equals max, oops, I messed that up. Sorry about that, okay, do it again, do this again, max, start parentheses, going to highlight this, end parentheses, enter, maximum is 102, now obviously you could see this because there's only one three digit number but if you have more data obviously it's more helpful equal sign min start parentheses highlight and parentheses enter and it's 10 now for your range 
all you have to do is subtract your maximum from your minimum so you could you could actually just uh, type in equal and then you could actually just type in um, parentheses minus enter oh wait you have to um, close parentheses sorry about that ignore everything I just did you can use a calculator or you can just do it in your head but if you have big numbers obviously it's gonna be a lot harder so once again click your range click your formula bar click equal start your parentheses and click your maximum type in minus click your minimum close parentheses enter 92 so that's how you do that there is no code for the range you just um, click equal parentheses click your maximum your minimum and then end parentheses and your range will come out so that's how you do that now obviously like I said range you can do in your head 102 minus 10 but if you have big numbers then obviously it's a lot harder so like I said but that's how you do uh, the basic common most popular measures of central tendencies and some statistics um, my next video will be on how to do a chi-squared test so watch out for that if you're interested in that that will be up very soon so I hope everyone learned how to do this if you have any questions or comments please do leave a comment in the uh, comment section below this video if you like this video you may like it favorite it if you like to do so and thank you for watching everyone as usual and this is GS Smart. I'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere